Okay, so I'm going to show you how to fold an icosahedron here. Um, we're going to start with the pupil survey, which you're going to leave face up um, with the title at the top, and you want to have all the writing that you can read on the top. Fold it down the middle and put in a nice neat crease. Use the fingernail so you get a good crease and open it out again. Step two, take the bottom right hand corner and fold it up to meet the middle line. Notice my left thumb is holding that corner right at the corner so you're going to crease it from that left hand corner right there so that the top corner lies on the line that you've just creased. If you've done it right this should make a 60 degree angle and we'll open it out again. Do exactly the same from the other side and if you're doing it right then not only should this crease line up but so should that one and all three creases should intersect at a single point right here. Leave that one down and bring the top left hand corner across to meet the edge you've just creased, creating very nearly an equilateral triangle, but with a little bit extra that you're now going to fold back onto the top to make it into an equilateral triangle. So, leaving it this way up, we're now going to crease the one you've just folded, the corner you've just folded, folded down to meet the bottom line, crease and open out the bottom right hand corner across to meet the middle of the left hand edge, crease and open out. And the same with the bottom left hand corner to meet the middle of the opposite side, crease and open out. Nearly done. Last little bit, we're going to take each of the vertices and fold them in to meet the middle of the line you've just creased. You can do that by eye, it doesn't need to be too perfect. And you end up with a hexagon with a nice threefold symmetry but with some lines, some edges twice the length of others. Okay, now if you look at those corners that you just folded in, one of them has two pockets. Can you see? One pocket here, another pocket there. And that one will be the one that receives the other two tabs. And folding those in you end up with a truncated tetrahedron. So there we go, truncated tetrahedron. On the base of that you can write the pupil's name. Okay. When you've got 20 of those, you might have 20 pupils in your class. If you haven't, pop in one that says teacher's choice or role again or something else. If you've got more than 20 learners, why not make two of these? One for the left hand half of the class, one for the right hand half of the class. When you've got 20 of those, you join them together and a bit of sellotape along this edge to join them. And then sometimes it helps to put a piece of sellotape across that join just to hold them nice and tight. And 20 of them, you'll end up with your icosahedral dice.